Microsoft has just changed the AI agent field forever with Autogen. It's not just a tool, it's a flexible framework that lets you define and customize agents for various roles. These agents can collaborate seamlessly. In today's video, we're going to unpack the incredible potential of Autogen. We'll walk you through the installation process and show you how to unleash its power in your projects. Buckle up, it's going to be a thrilling ride. First things first, Let's take a look at the blog post by Microsoft introducing Autogen. This framework is a game changer, enabling multiple agents to work together on tasks. And you know what? When multiple AI agents team up, the results are simply astounding. Whether it's coding, planning, or even creative writing, it's like having a dream team where one agent does the heavy lifting, another checks the work, and others provide valuable feedback. But what exactly does Autogen do? Well, it simplifies the orchestration, optimization, and automation of large language model workflows. It's all about customizable and conversable agents that can handle the most advanced LLMs like GPT-4. But it doesn't stop there. Autogen can work with humans and tools, facilitating conversations among multiple agents through automated chat. Let's break it down further. With Autogen, building a complex multi-agent conversation system is as easy as defining a set of agents with specialized capabilities and roles. Imagine creating an AI engineering team with agents for coding, project management, quality assurance, and more. But wait, there's more. You also get to define how these agents interact with each other. Now, check out this cool chart they've provided. Autogen comes with two default agents, the user proxy agent and the assistant agent. The user proxy agent works on your behalf, making decisions and even asking for your input when needed. It's like having a virtual assistant that can execute code for you, saving you precious time. The assistant agent, on the other hand, is your go-to for various tasks. It's the one that does the code writing, making it a supercharged code interpreter. These agents engage in automated chats, and the user proxy can seamlessly involve humans and utilize tools. Now, let's talk about how you can run this incredible, powerful, multi-agent framework Autogen in your PC. And I'm also going to show you Colab example. Here we can see many Colab demo. Let's click on first one, automated task solving with code generation, execution, and AMP debugging. Autogen comes packed with these super conversable LLM agents, which can do some pretty cool stuff. I'm here to walk you through it. So, here's the deal. We're going to use two of these fantastic agents the assistant agent and the user proxy agent to write and execute some Python code. Picture this, the assistant agent, which is this awesome LLM based agent, will whip up some Python code for you and you'll be the one executing it. And if that's not cool enough, the user proxy agent is your trusty sidekick, acting as your proxy to run that code either at your command or automatically, depending on your settings. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Depending on how you've set things up, the user proxy agent can either ask you for feedback or provide auto-feedback based on the code's success or failure. If there's an error, the assistant agent jumps in like a coding superhero, debugging the code and suggesting new code to save the day. These two agents keep chatting away until the task is complete. In this example, we'll explore how to use the power of Autogen's agents to craft and execute a Python script. It's a tag team effort involving an assistant agent, your coding assistant, and a user proxy agent, your human proxy. In this specific demo, we set the user proxy agent's human underscore input underscore mode to never. That means it won't ask for feedback from you, the human user. Instead, it continues responding until it hits the limit set by max, underscore consecutive underscore auto underscore reply, or receives a termination message as defined by the is underscore termination underscore msg dollar function. Let's get into the details. So let's run first cell, which is download Autogen, then setting up our API key. In the third cell, you'll notice that we've created the assistant agent and the user proxy agent. These two agents are like our dynamic duo. The assistant agent takes on the role of our coding assistant, while the user proxy agent steps in as our proxy, handling interactions with the assistant agent on our behalf. We've assigned a task to the user proxy agent. What's today's date? And could you also compare the year-to-date gains for Meta and Tesla? Let's see how the user proxy agent tackles this task. First things first, the code wants to find out what the current date is. To do this, it uses a special Python library called DateTime. You can think of it as a digital clock. After it figures out the date and time, it politely tells you what today's date is. Now, let's get into the interesting stuff. The code wants to know how well two companies' stocks are doing this year. Meta, which is actually Facebook's new name, and Tesla. To do this, it needs some tools, 
like a library called Y Finance, short for Yahoo Finance. If you don't have this tool already, it even gives you a tip on how to get it. Next, it has a clever function called get underscore YTD underscore gain that calculates how much money you would make or lose if you invested in these companies at the start of this year. The code then gets the stock prices for Meta and Tesla from January 1st of the current year until today. It's like looking at their price tags on January 1st and comparing them to their prices now. Finally, it tells you the exciting part, how much money you would have made or lost if you had invested in Meta and Tesla at the beginning of the year. It expresses this as a percentage, so you know exactly how good or not so good the stocks have been performing. I'm absolutely amazed at the incredible pace at which the field of AI is advancing. Just a year ago, we welcomed ChatGPT, and now we have AutoGPT fueling AI autonomous agents, leading us to the incredible world of Autogen. But before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. We're just 40 subscribers away from reaching the milestone of 500 subscribers. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, please show some love and support. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.